What's up guys, it's Chiggy who came out and in this video I'm going to be talking about my most anticipated Skylanders from each Skylander game. Now it's the ones that um the ones that initially took me in to like or the ones that I was most hype about from each game, like in terms of design and the figures and not really so the gameplay, but most of the ones I'm gonna mention are my favorites. If you my just my favorite Skylanders overall and um I am joined by, in this video... Yeah, you already know the deal. Most anticipated Skylanders um, for each game. Uh, it's 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 going to be... I'm pretty sure some of the options that other Portal Masters have are going to be quite different from mine. But, um, nonetheless, I am ready to get into this. Yeah, it's Sick Lander Boy. He's awesome. Go check out his channel. Go check out his content. It's amazing. Go subscribe. Um, yeah, no, I'm honored to... Uh, have him join this video. My uh, number one is not surprising for me. Uh, as I say, it has to, from Spiles of Venture, my favorite Skylander, Spiles of Venture Skylander, has to be Camo. He he drew me in the figure and the design, and he's my favorite Skylander because he's on my logo, my channel art, and he's always been my favorite Skylander. He's actually number one out of all the Skylanders for me. So we started out with Spyro's Adventure, um, and I gotta say, my most anticipated Skylander from Spyro's Adventure is undoubtedly Sonic Boom. Like, <clears throat> I saw I saw Sonic Boom, like, actually, I didn't know, I really didn't know who the character was until I got the game, and then I got the poster and looked at the all the characters, and then I saw Sonic Boom, and I was like, this character looks pretty awesome. And then I saw um, her gameplay. Uh, fun fact, I actually did not know Sonic Boom was a female back then. But, um, yeah, then I saw her gameplay. And I was like, yeah, yeah, this is the one. This is the one I want. So, it didn't take me that long to track her down either. Uh, I got her, and uh, I was pleasantly surprised from her gameplay. So, uh, Sonic Boom, my most anticipated character from Sprawl's Adventure. Giants is Thumbback. We have a giant on the list. Yeah, Thumbback. I remember bringing him to school because I liked. I was so I was that excited to get this figure in my hands, and the character was my favorite from Giants. Why? Because he's a big giant um, whale. So, uh, and he lights up, and I, I just his figure is probably one of the best out of the whole franchise. All right, next we're moving into Skylanders Giants. So, in Giants, my favorite character, obviously, well, not my favorite character, well, my most anticipated character. My most anticipated character, you already know, it, this one's probably, this one's probably, a, this one's probably the same for a lot of people. Um, definitely Eyebrawl. Eyebrawl was the character that, when I saw him, I was like, oh, I need it, I need Eyebrawl. And, um, yeah, like, every single, I, I was not familiar with the wave system back then. Like, I was unaware that figures uh, and characters came out in waves. I, I did not know that. I thought they all came out at once. But, um, yeah, so I remember back in, like, you know, the 2012 days, you know, it was like every single time my mom or my aunt uh, would go out of town um, and go to the store or something, I'd be like, yo, eyebrow, if you see him. Please get him. Like I made like a pretty much a whole wanted poster because I wanted that character so bad. Uh, and then I got him. Uh, fun fact: I got him the day I got molten hot dog as well. So um, yeah. And uh, eyebrow still is rolling today with one of my favorite giants. Not my favorite giant, but he's one of my favorites. And um, yeah. So eyebrow, my most anticipated character from Giants. Skyrim Swap Force is Stink Bomb. Um. I really like how, well, most of these actually on the list are life characters. Like, what? Because life is actually, if you guys don't know, it's my favorite element. Second being the air element. And it's actually kind of like, it's not, those two elements are not really, not many people like, I don't think. Uh, it's kind of underrated. I feel like the life and the air elements are really underrated. And I forgot, I'm going to have some honorable mentions real quick because... I literally can't only pick one favorite from each game. There's some there's some more. Um Lightning Rod, Sunburn, Whirlwind, Ninjini, Swarm, Flashwing, Papas, and Jetvac. 
Smolder Dash, Trap Shadow, Rattle Shake, Scratch, and Fire Free Ranger. Fire Ranger. Free Ranger. Because they're 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 really close to being my favorite. Because I was really hyped for their figures and characters as well. It's still my favorite skin. And I really can't pick one Skylander because I'm a Gemini and I need to have more Skylanders for my multiple sides to me. Now we're moving into Skylander Swap Force. And um, this one, this one is actually my favorite character to this day from Swap Force. My most anticipated character from, um, from Swap Force is definitely Stink Mom. I don't know what it is about Stink Mom, but when I saw him the first time, I was like, yes. Yes, yes, I, 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 just, I know I'm kind of being repetitive when I'm, when I won't be up from saying, you know, that, uh, every single time, but he, he was just a cool character, and then I saw him in the, um, the, uh, I don't think that was the reveal trailer, it was like the trailer where, you know, when I say this, y'all are gonna know what trailer I'm talking about, where a jet vac hopped on top of a rupter because they were trying to act like Swap Force Skylanders. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. I don't think that was the reveal trailer, though. I don't think that was the reveal trailer for Swap Force. Um, but yeah, I, I saw that trailer, and then I saw Stink Bomb in it, and I was like, wow, you know, th this character looks pretty insane. And then, um, then I also saw a little bit of Stink Bomb in a Countdown's uh, uh, trailer as well. You know, when they try to advertise Countdown uh, as a character. Um, and Sing Bomb still looks pretty cool. He still looks pretty cool. And um, I ended up getting him. And sure enough, he ended up staying my favorite Swap Force character. Like, this guy, this guy, like, he, he's literally just, I don't know. I don't know what it is about Sting Bomb, but that's my most anticipated Swap Force Skylander right there. So, Skylander's Trap Team. You might be wondering why it's in a jar, um, because if you guys didn't see my scams in a jar video, thanks to Tech the, Tech the Intelligent, one of my friends, uh, he came up with the idea of putting scams in a jar, and if you guys haven't seen that video, it's on my channel, it's a really epic video, scams in a jar, you could like make your own, it's really cool. And the honorable mentions for Trap Team, real quick, Spotlight, Blackout, Wildfire, Gear Shift, Tough Luck, Echo, and that's it. Oh, Trap Team. Now, uh, Trap Team, I got to say, I think this was the game where I I kind of was familiar with the game before it came out the most. I think Trap Team was the game I started, you know, getting familiarized with, you know, you know how everything works every single year, you know, and reveals and everything like that. And um, so, yeah. But my most anticipated character from Skylanders Trap Team is now my favorite Trap Master, Head Rush. A lot of y'all probably thinking, wait, I thought your favorite Trap Master was Crypt King. Yeah, um, yeah, Crypt King was not my favorite Trap Master uh, anymore. He's still on that second spot, but Head Rush is taking that top spot. And I don't know why, I just, I just loved Head Rush from the beginning, you know, and then right when I got her, I was still like, man, this character is everything I thought she was gonna be. You know, it, it, it's good when, when you, um, when you look at a character and you're just like, I hope this character is like this, and boom, they are. Um, so yeah, you know, um, Cri uh, not Crypt King, but Head Rush was definitely my uh, most anticipated character from Trap Team. And when I saw her in store, I was like, yes. I was also happy because it was one of the few Head Rushes with both horns. So um, yeah, but Head Rush most anticipated character from Trap Team. Uh, Scound Superchargers, Scound Superchargers. Uh, it is Smash Hit. Very epic. Let's see. Can it focus a little bit? Yeah. Um, I was really drawn to him. I was so excited to just get my hands on this figure. Um, because it's the closest uh, Wabbit Scound we're ever gonna get. Ever gonna get. He's technically a War Supio, which it's. I don't. I think it's. It's not a rabbit, but it, he's a war supio, which is, to me, he always kind of looked like a rabbit. The canceled Scoundrels game, Scoundrels Seven, uh, they actually did have a rabbit. I didn't, I didn't talk about this on my channel, but yeah, there was three Scoundrels that were supposed to be for Scoundrels Seven that um, were just like prototypes or something. And the rabbit Scoundrel is like, they actually did a rabbit Scoundrel eventually, but we're never gonna. It's probably not gonna see the light of day. I hope maybe. 
uh, since there's news of leaks of Scam 7 going on. Hopefully we do get a new game. I want, I'm wanting a new console game with figures and stuff and new characters. But I'll, I think we're gonna get a new game. I made a video about it, talking about it, but we don't know. That's just my opinion that we're gonna get a new game. Um, but I think it's, I think Scam is forever. Like, you know, I'm always going to be posting sound videos no matter what happens if we don't get a new game or not, but I am hoping for a new game. And my honorable mention is Stormblade, Bowser, Wollaball, Nightfall, and Asher West. The Wollaball being the, um, her new, her new version, the supercharged, uh, version. Alright, I'm gonna do a double trouble system here. Um, not the Skylar double trouble, just in general. Um... But we're moving into superchargers. Now, superchargers, we got introduced to not only new characters, but vehicles as well. So I'm going to be going over my most anticipated supercharger and most anticipated vehicle. So, my most anticipated supercharger. A lot of y'all probably thinking it's high volt. It's not high volt. It's, it's splat. It's splat. I don't know what it was about splat. When I saw splat, I was like, I want to see some gameplay. Like, I remember when... Um, Splat got revealed. In fact, I don't think... I think Splat's name was mentioned, like, by Skyliner Boy Girl before she was actually even revealed. So, I think that's how that worked. But, um, yeah, Splat, uh, she, 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 I don't know what it was. This one, I really don't know what it was. Like, Splat was just, I, I saw her and I was like, I'm really, I really want to get this character for some reason. I don't know why. And, uh, yeah, so long story short, ended up getting her, and I was like, you know what, she's alright, she's alright. But then, you know, I obviously played Hyvel, and how Hyvel is my favorite character, but most anticipated um, Skylander from Superchargers definitely goes to Splat. Vehicle, um, I'm just going to say my, my favorite vehicle that I was most hyped about for Superchargers is Jetstream. Jetstream, Thumb Truck, the Easter uh, version of... Dive Clops Vehicle, uh, Spring Ahead Dive Bomber, and Stealth Stinger. Yes, I made a list because <laughs> I couldn't remember everything off the top of my head. All right. <clears throat> now, most anticipated vehicle is a tie. It's a tie between two vehicles, and one of them is actually a variant. So, um, I don't know what it was, but when these two vehicles got revealed, I was just like, Wow. They're getting some sick vehicles and superchargers. And, um, yeah. So, first vehicle is Soda Skimmer. This is the one, obviously, not the variant. But, um, yeah, Soda Skimmer, I looked at it, and I was like, wow. This vehicle actually looks pretty sick. I, I And I couldn't picture Pop Fizz actually driving something like that. But then, of course, when I got Soda Skimmer, then I got Big Old Pop Fizz. I was like, yes, these two belong together. Um, and yeah, uh, coincidentally, this is also my mom's favorite vehicle as well. Soda Scammer is also my mom's favorite vehicle. Um, but yeah, but the vehicle that's also tied with that is Nitro Stealth Stinger. That has got to be one of the best Nitro variants. In fact, all the Nitro variants look good, but that that's one of the better ones. Like Nitro Stealth Stinger, it just looks so awesome. It almost made me wish that there was going to be a Nitro Super Shot Stealth Elf, but there wasn't. Um... So yeah, but Nitro Stealth Stinger is tied with Soda Skimmer as my favorite, uh, my most anticipated vehicle. And um, yeah, like when I saw them, I was just like, yo, I'm sold. I'm sold. Of course, I'm not really sold because I don't have Nitro Stealth Stinger. I have Soda Skimmer, but I don't have Nitro Stealth Stinger. Um, so uh, yeah, that's, that's how that works. And those Imaginators, it's definitely Crash. I was so hyped for the fact that Crash was back. How could I not be so excited to make Crash be my favorite figure and my favorite character um, in Scam's Imaginators? And the other ones I want to mention uh, is definitely is Wolfgang, Golden Queen, Flare Wolf, Buckshot, Tidepool, and Pit Boss. We're finally moving into Imaginators with my most anticipated sensei. And y'all already know it because it was everyone's most anticipated sensei. Master Ambush. Master Ambush was my most anticipated sensei. And it got to the point where I legitimately don't know who my favorite sensei is to this day. I legitimately don't know who it is. You know, and Master Ambush is still in that top spot. He's along with Master Starcast, Master Tidepool, uh, Master Robo, Master Flurl. There's just so many cool senseis, and 
I, I just never been able to make a decision as to who's my favorite one. I left out Master Wildstorm, but because uh, he's also, he's also one of my more favorite characters. But most anticipated since I gotta be Master Ambush, my guy. When right when he was revealed, I was like, ooh, yes, yes, this character is gonna be. And I was so happy because I got Master Ambush the day that I got Imaginators. So it wasn't like any wait. And I believe, I believe Master Ambush was the first Sensei that I put on the portal. I don't think I put Golden Queen on the portal first. I don't think I put that Creation Crystal, Master Kingpin, nobody. I think I put Master Ambush on that portal first because I was just so happy to finally have that character. And our character, I'm like, legi I was legitimately like, I was about to blow up because I was so excited to finally have a character as cool as Master Ambush. Um, so yeah, that kind of pretty much concludes my most anticipated Skylanders. So um, thanks, Striker, uh, for having me. And um, yeah, it's it's fun. It's gonna be amazing to see what. Uh, other portal masters are thinking about this. So tell me what you got your guys is most anticipated scounders Design wise or figure it doesn't matter. Maybe t let me know if they're actually some of your favorites. So Like how most of mine are like all of them are my favorite scounders. Thank you guys for watching Make sure you guys like subscribe and comment and I will see you guys on the next video